Hello students, and I hope everything is well. We're going to look at unwrapping a character using different techniques known as seam and pelt unwrapping. This will probably go a little bit easier for you guys. So let's begin by doing a model that's uh, pretty much well done here, and it's still low polygon. You can see my polygon count on this model is uh, roughly 8,000 polygons, and that's with Turbo Smooth on. Uh, my normal poly count is actually a lot less at 1,000 polygons. So I'm going to do at the 1000 polygon mark, that's where I'm actually going to start doing uh, all my polygon work, uh, all my unwrapping. So in my low poly, I'm going to grab this model. I'm probably going to put it on performance mode. Uh, maybe I'll put it on flat color. So you can see now with flat color, I actually see this model without any of the shading or anything like that. So I can grab things a lot easier. My model is split in half to half of the body here. I can hide half of this body so that I can work with just one side. So if you have one side of a sword, one side of a body, you can work with that. If yours is a full body that's already merged together, that's fine. Just apply the techniques that I'm going to do to one side to the full body and, and you'll be fine. So with uh, this type of unwrapping, we still add the same unwrap QVW modifier as we did for learning our projection. And we're going to work with edges this time. I'm going to open the UV editor. You know, I've already laid out a UV. I'm just going to mess it up here. Uh, so, there you go. There's my messed up UV. I'm going to toss that off to the side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edge mode. And I can click on edge mode here or edge mode here. I'm going to turn off uh, ignore back facing. And uh, I'm just going to go down to a tool here. Since we're going to be working with uh, peels and seams right now. Um, this is the category you want to work with. So you can see we have quick peel, peel mode, reset peel, and we have pelt map, and we have our seams here, edit seams, point to point seams, uh, convert edge selection to seams, and expand polygon selection to seams. So if for some reason, uh, sometimes I run into an error, I can't select the, uh, I can only select edges, and when I go to point to point mode, for some reason I can't, um, that's okay, because you can just grab edges, and then say uh, convert, edge selection the seams, and you can see it turn it into a seam line. So, how, how should you select your seams, right? If you think about clothing or where a mark on your character needs to be, this is where you put the seams. So we're trying to hide the seams away from the camera or put them on places where we know our character gets cut um, from one part of a model to another, from one part of a texture to another. Um, so on, on a weapon, you'd probably put it like to the handle, uh, to the guard, uh, to the nub at the end of the sword, uh, and you'd uh, cut all those seams, and you would cut it down at least one of the sides um, to make it a little easier on yourself. So basically, where I put my major seam line on this character is I grab down this line, and I keep grabbing down here. And I would cut down this entire leg. So I think like in my jeans or my and my shirt uh, that I'm going to put on this character. I'm probably going to cut the seam line all the way down here. And then I'll get, try and get rid of any seam that I forgot to put in. Uh, I put in by accident. And then I go, okay. So I'm going to cut off the hand here. My hand will be a different part of my UV. So I'm going to grab this. So basically what you're trying to do is just grab all the edges of where you want to cut the like, cut parts of your model off differently. So get different parts of the texture. So I have that. I'm going to cut the arm off maybe here. And then I'm going to go around. And this is a much quicker way of unwrapping because what we're doing technically is we're just telling it, okay, separate these parts of the model off in our unwrap. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go up the neck here. Uh, and maybe I won't go through the neck itself. The neck I'll just leave as one big part. So I will just do this. So now what I have is, an, oh, sorry, last, last but not least, I'm going to cut a, a belt line. So this is where the pants start. So now we see, see we have a leg that can wrap, and we're going to cut around the foot here. 
So now our foot's going to become a separate object. So every time you're making an edge circle, it's kind of like you're cutting off a part of the object. And because we have this line down the side, that means that's where it's going to separate. And, uh, you know, if you had a cylinder, that's where the cylinder would cut apart, would be in that line. And now we have to do the bottom of the foot. So this is why we always want to build a model in a, as, low, as like, low polygon as possible. Even if it's high polygon, it's still the same technique. You know, go around the edges, cut the edges open, uh, and work with it like that. Um, but see if we build low poly and then do a turbo smooth to the higher poly, uh, we are kind of already have an unwrap that we don't need to worry about too, too much. Um, and one last thing I might cut, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to do the pelvis here. So I'll just go around the pelvis. Now for this one, it's kind of like an optional thing. It's just in my preference, but it might make it a bit easier for me to do this like that. So what I have is like pretty much an underwear shape here. I have my pants, I have my shoe, I have my shirt that has a split line down the middle. I have my sleeve here with the seam line hidden underneath uh, right there. Now we can go in more complex detail with the hand. Um, I won't go into too much complex detail. I'd rather just show you guys really quick uh, what to do here. So I'm going to convert this uh, edge selection to seams. So you can see that all these lines turn to blue. This becomes the new uh, seam lines for our model. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our peel menu and go to quick peel. And you can see with a quick peel, it actually took all those pieces I cut and automatically unwrapped them for me. Now you can see my hand here still has errors, um, but the rest of the model actually looked uh, really good. Every, every unwrap turned out correct. So the next step, what you want to do is go to polygon mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, arrange elements uh, area and I'm going to go to rescale elements. What this will do is it'll rescale all the elements so the same uh, texture, like the box size. Remember when we were switching back and forth from checkerboard up here? I switched from checker pattern to this checker pattern. And everything is kind of the right size already. You can see my checker pattern is all equal size all around my model. This is just helping it a bit just to make sure that it's all the same size. Um, and then uh, we're good. We already have a texture map. Look at that. Less than eight minutes and I unwrap this character. Um, unwrap pretty much all parts of this character, all the checkerboard parts look good and equal size um, and then you just have to go to tools render UV template and we have our UV template size here um, which is uh, exactly what's going to render out to to a file uh, you could change the size I would suggest go by the power of 2 so 256 512 1024 2048 uh, and then we have all of these uh, little fill tools. You know, this will fill in the color. You can just leave that as none for now because we're just going to color over it anyways. And we also have, if we can, if you want to see the seam edges, if you don't, and you can render UV template, and you should get something like this. Now, uh, two suggestions before you render UV template. Number one, uh, try and fit everything into the box uh, a lot better. Like, try and just pack it as full as possible. And I mean, like rotate it, pop it in the corner. I would put two pieces of like the shirt together, like here. And don't forget, if we have the back and the front of the shirt, you know, what, make it, what might make it a little bit easier for you to texture with is, to, so excuse me, to weld these two pieces together. So you see we have this. Now this might be the larger part of my model, right? So uh, I might want to scale it a little bit bigger, first of all give it more detail maybe I because I'm gonna put symbols on the shirt or something like that and I'm going to go to tools target weld when I'm in vertex mode so I'm gonna to go to vertex mode right now and I'm gonna to go to tools target weld and I'm gonna left click and drag one vertex to another vertex now you'll see that if I click on a vertex that looks like another one this vertex turns blue and that means that they're actually together in this model here and here they're separated, but I can weld them together. And you see now a seam line should start disappearing. See, and now we have this shirt.
dirt. So we're getting rid of a seam line because we want this model to be more organic and fluid down the middle. See, so now we have a shirt back and front and it's welded down the middle, so less problems right there. And now I'm back in polygon mode. And I'm going to grab this. See, so even though it takes up a little bit more space and we put more detail in that part, that's good. So what we want to do is start doing that for the rest of the model itself. And you can pack these relatively close to each other too. See my hand? There's going to be, I'm going to unwrap the hand eventually, but I'm going to need to put a lot more, um, a lot more effort into doing the pelt unwrap, like start unwrapping individual fingers and stuff like that. Um, but you know, you get the general idea is just basically create seam lines around areas that you think are really, uh, Around, sorry, you got to create uh, seam lines around parts of the model where you want your cuts to be inside your model. And you see how easy it was to actually do a full character body, um, you know, minus the hand, of course. But it, that applies to pretty much any part of 3D modeling. If you're unwrapping a sword, unwrapping a spaceship, and a monster, anything like that, it's all the same technique. Just grab uh, seam lines, cut them, and then quick peel or peel them yourself if you need to. And... Uh, then modify your unwrap so that you fill up as much space as possible. So, you know, my hand might take up this whole section. So what I might do is actually just move this. And I might just, you know, scale it a bit. Give it a little bit more space. Like that. Ah, see, so now you have this nice space that's used up here. We have a little section here so we can save it for the hand detail. That's about to come out. Like that. And then this will be for my whole hand area. Uh, when I get to unwrapping that, then I go to tools, render UV template. I have my size correct, 1024 by 1024. I render my UV template. I save this UV template by clicking the little disk icon in the top left corner. And then I save this as UV, you know, UVs or whatever name you want to give it. I save this one as UVs. And then once I'm done, before you finish off, I'd like you to save these UVs somewhere as well. I save the UVs and UV backup shirt. Uh, body, I'll call it. So just in case something happens to these UVs, uh, for some reason if something messes up, that's a good way to back up. Just click save UVs. Because sometimes accidentally people reset all the UVs and that's always an issue. Um, and you should be uh, all good to go. Um, if you ever want to select a part of the body, uh, go to polygon mode and select this part and go to this option right here. Expand polygon selection to seams. And it will actually grab everything up to a seam line that you've created. You can always edit seams anytime you want as well. So if you have seams that you created with the blue lines here, then uh, you can actually edit these seams. You know, I'm going to take away... If I hold Alt, I can just take away like all of them. Right there. And now if I grab Polygon, Expand Selection Seam, you can see the seams are gone now. So it's not going to select inside the uh, seam lines. So really what you want to do is kind of like when you create these seams, just keep them there. Because they're kind of handy just to select different parts of the model uh, while you're unwrapping. So we, we unwrapped our model using the uh, seam technique, point-to-point -point seams. You can use point-to-point -point seams to select edges. If you have a problem selecting point-to-point, -point, just go to edge mode, and then you can go convert edge selection to seams. That works fine. Then you go to quick peel, which will peel your model. Um, you can peel it yourself, um, but I always suggest quick peel normally does it just fine. And then when you in here, you can see that we have our entire model. You can even see the vertex points where the peels are um, here. Um, and then once you're done, you just got to go to unwrap UVW, collapse all. I'm going to collapse my UVW, which means that it, it burns it into the model. It essentially, that's the default state for the model. So I click yes. I push M to go to my material editor. And I'm going to assign my model a standard material. And I'm going to give it a diffuse color by double clicking the little defu colors orb i'm going to assign it a material map and i'm going to assign it a bitmap map which is a file from your computer i find my uv that i rendered out for this one i right click on the material and i assign material to selection i right click on it again and i go show shaded material in viewport and you should see the unwrap now you can see like the difference between a clean unwrap like this 
and a bad unwrap in the hand. See, that, that unwrap is terrible. But the body actually looks very, very good. And it didn't take that long to make. It was like less than 10 minutes of unwrapping and then a couple minutes of rendering. Uh, like putting it together and making sure everything looks good. And we got uh, our body unwrapped. And that's the same thing you can apply for a sword. And like I said, you open up Photoshop or anything, you can draw on top of that texture and uh, get started on doing that. So, yeah. That's uh, that's our plan of attack. So, hope you guys do well.